Research and Development at the Mistress Group. And today, um, I want to present to you uh, our latest product, which is a, which is a four channel acoustic emission node. Uh, this is designed to monitor hotspots on bridges or any other structure. And the idea is that you have four channels of acoustic emission plus six external parametrics that can be used for monitor temperature, pressure, load, or any other um, type of input as long as it's uh, uh, minus plus 10 volt. Also, we have one channel dedicated exclusively to um, uh, strain gauge. So, um, if we can switch now to the, uh, to the, the, uh, the screen, what we see here is um, the data that is being transmitted right now by the node. If you see uh, that succession of numbers, it's actually a time mark. And if you had a string gauge, for example, or a, or a, uh, a pressure uh, sensor there, you will see values for that. But right now, it's just a time mark. Every second is reading those values. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do uh, the famous pencil at break, which we use traditionally in acoustic emission to show uh, the capabilities of a system, and there you have, um, you know, the blue, uh, the blue lines there that indicate that sensor one, two, and three have uh, detected uh, one hit uh, caused by the pencil break, and we have another one here. Those are typically butt breaks because in this small plate we should have, you know four channels detecting everything. And right now, what you can see there is you can see a, um, uh, an indication on corporal lettering that it shows you the position of that uh, pencil of break. And I'm going to show you here a uh, location plot that shows the approximate location of that break. So this uh, wireless node has uh, the capability to do planar location and linear location. Here we go. Okay, so now, instead of doing the traditional pencil of break, I'm going to do a little bit of magic here. I forget my rabbit on my hat. But I'm going to use a little bit of water here, put it, and I'm going to put the magic ingredient, which is top rocks. And you can see immediately that you get all kinds of uh, emissions there from the pop rocks. And even some of them are starting to be located. Okay, this is a good way of uh, you know, simulating a source of acoustic emission. Of course, we wish that a source of acoustic emission were that continuous, but they are not. But in any case, well, uh, we let uh, the data accumulate there. What we're going to do is we're going to switch here. give you a few specifics about this wireless node. Uh, as I mentioned this morning in my presentation, this is the smallest uh, lower power uh, multi-channel acoustic emission uh, shown or developed uh, up to this point. Uh, the latest technology was uh, used to enhance its uh, performance, which is uh, pretty good when you compare it to the large multi-channel systems. Uh, this is just a picture of, uh, you know, the package and actually you can change uh, to different type of batteries in order to have, you know, all the way from three days without uh, only uh, rechargeable batteries to ten months with dischargeable batteries and uh, continuous if you have some sort of uh, energy harvesting that you can connect to this. Uh, some of the uh, technical specifications, uh, we have a very small board less than uh, four, uh, that four inches by six inches, uh, very lightweight. We have uh, five to 18 volts needed to uh, make this work. Power consumption, please know that we have 170 milliwatts when it's at full load, which is about 10 hits per second per channel. Uh, it has also the capability to do uh, uh, active pulsing with each one of the sensors. At that point, the consumption could go up to uh, probably uh, half, a, half a watt, 500 uh, milliwatts, but we're very, very short periods of time. 
Uh, and the bandwidth is uh, from 1 kilohertz to 250 kilohertz. We have six parametric channels and uh, one uh, channel for strain gauge. And we have a memory card to save data in there. If you want to use this system as a data loader, you can put it in, turn it on. You don't need the computer or the receiver over there. And you can come back later and just download your data using the SD card. Uh, finally, here we have uh, uh, a picture. And these are some of the uh, applications that we're looking uh, for to, uh, uh, to use this, this system. We're actually uh, talking to people about them. All right, I think okay, well, thank you. that's it. Um, thank you very much. We might have time for uh, one question. If anybody has a quick question or comment, now's the time. If not, um, let me introduce the... Uh, thank you. Thank you.